Hello everyone, how's it going? Good evening. Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Satisfactory, shall we? Well, goodness gracious, here we are, far away from home. And we found this crash site, but it requires five modular frames to open the drop pod and get the uh, CPU inside the data disk. So we're going to go get that, but first, it's time to continue our project of getting coal power. So I'm excited about that. So we're going to go try to do that. We're going to walk over this bridge that we made. Look at this amazing waterfall section of the map. Beautiful area, really. And we are going to cruise over here and try to get water back to our base. It's a requirement for the business of coal power. Now, this is also going to require a little power. So let me just connect this over here like so. And now this thing is working. This giant machine is drawing up water and attempting to send it through these pipes. Now, let me check my grid really quickly and see how we're doing. Uh, we still are producing uh, more than we're consuming, I believe. So that's good. And I'm going to go over here and kind of follow this pipe. So we're building this water pipe and it goes up here, you can see. And I don't know if this is going to work like I want it to or not. There's my caterium uh, coming out along the conveyor belt. And here's the end of the pipe that we were building and we're going to keep on going. So we're going to be transporting uh, coal here, a fluid buffer. Uh, I don't know if, if we need one of these or not. I don't know like what kind of loving you're going to have to give um, to a pipeline, you know, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to send this all the way over here. We're going to take this back to our house, and we're just going to follow uh, the Caterium, I suppose. So I'll build it to here. And I don't know what it's going to take uh, to make this work. I really don't. I'm going to kind of... Floor is too steep. I can build it like that, or I could just build it down. Okay, we broke the power grid. We aren't producing enough power. I was worried about that. That's going to happen. All right. So we're going to have to go back and fix our power grid. But first, I'm just going to build this pipe. We're going to make the pipeline. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take this pipe all the way over. Oops, wrong button. Uh, let's see. Oops. Pipe. And let's see. Oh, I can do gestures with T. That's right. All right I'm going to send this way over here. Okay. And, I mean, the amount of Caterium we have on this conveyor belt is so funny. What a silly game. Love it. Love to see it, really. Okay, I'm going to keep building and move over here a uh, doot do do and let's see what's the issue oh there's no issue we're good <laughs> I made a fun gesture all right so we're gonna try to drag this up as long as we can go there we go Keep building this, please. And let's see. We're doing okay on supplies to try to get this home. So that's at least encouraging. Hey, Crispy Bacon, good evening. Alex, good evening. Good to see everybody. Crispy, yes, there are monsters, but you do not need food and water. So, uh, well, it depends on how you put that. You eat crispy to restore your health when you're damaged, but you don't need, you don't have like a hunger meter, and you don't have a water meter, but 
funny you should ask, I'm actually building a pipeline right now to transport water all the way back to my base. So I can make, uh, I can turn on coal energy, basically. Uh, so, in a way, you do. Mm-hmm. And we're just going to keep building this out until I run out of supplies. Hey, Kyla, good evening. Yes, Kyla. Fading. Brua, what is up, everybody? Good to see you. The game is going great. So, um, Kyla, you need these pipes to transport water. And I have a water pump way back at a river. Or, I'm sorry, a, a massive like lake pouring off into a waterfall. And it's a a requisite that you have it for coal power. So I, I need to burn coal and heat up water. Um, oh, speaking of what Crispy just mentioned, an enemy is attacking me. Uh, let's see. Somebody's shooting fireballs at me. Oh, it's this kind alien over here. All right. So it's not all fun in games. Hey, buddy. But I have this gun that I shoot um, rebar out of. Which is pretty funny. Like, rebar spikes. Oh, God. Stop it. Hey, you. Stop doing your thing. Stop moving. You need to go away. You're being mean. I don't like your behavior. All right, so we got this alien monster thing. It's dead, and we pick up its alien organs. We can use those later. <laughs> yeah, fading. Um, look at my... Actually, let me see if I can get my binoculars out. Um, so these are kind of like binoculars. And I'm going to zoom in. Um, and from here, you can get a distance view. This is my factory. Way far away. This is how big it sprawls. And then check this out. This is the space elevator that I built to send goods back to the company. <laughs> uh, pretty funny stuff. And... I'm going to try to get this water back. Now, I need to eat really quickly because I've been injured. So you can just kind of uh, put food on your in your hands and switch over to it and just chomp, chomp, chomp. Your factory is literally nothing, Kylug. Yeah, I just kept building and building. I My motto is uh, be as horrible to the planet as possible, it feels like, in this game. I mean, it's a game about just industrial factory building, so it's uh, it ain't going to be too good for, for the planet, but it's really bad. The amount of smoke that comes out of my factory is pretty uh, serious. That being said, um, this is as far as I can build my pipe. Woo! Interesting that you should ask that. Um fading so i believe there are stuff you can do to move faster and i'm trying to research that you can build trucks and so i can make uh trucks to transport goods and you can set up like stations and the trucks are automated so they're like you know they have like an autopilot and they just drive in between different stations and transport goods but my buddy mandrake on the youtube comments was telling me that they're actually not very good because like see for example this ramp right here that i have that the trucks actually can't drive up a ramp this steep so they're not as easy to use as just ridiculous conveyor belts. I mean, look at this, these conveyor belts. Look how long they are that I have. All these screws just coming into my factory. Anyway, we ran out of power. So I'm going to have to go harvest uh, stuff to make energy. Yeah, Rua, there are trucks in this game. I haven't built them yet, though. Uh, let me see what I'm researching. Uh, okay. Oh, actually, look at this. Uh, fading to your point, I just built zip lines. So you can build zip lines to get around, which is pretty funny. Uh, let me see here. What do I need for this? I just need um, a bunch of wire. Yeah, start the research. What do we got? Let's see. This is my research thing here. Um, now what, what can we open? We can build an AI limiter. Okay, we can build Blade Runners. Oh my god. Blade Runners? This might be exactly what you're talking about, Fading. This might be like super speed cybernetic legs. Okay. Um, 
Power Poles Mark II. Oh, God, that would be an absolute beauty. A Power Switch, insane, and a Smart Splitter. Ooh. It, Rua, you are 100% correct. That is, from my understanding, Rua, I've never actually played Factorio, but this is a 3D Factorio in many ways. Just, it's a f FPS style. Uh, all right, so I want Power Pole Mark II because the Power Poles that I currently have only allow four hookups, and they're really annoying. So I assume that this has more capacity, which would be great. But I also want this. I need modular flame, uh, frames to get this. I don't have any on me, I don't think. So we'll get that in a moment. But first, my whole factory is shut down. So uh, what ended up happening is I actually connected or tried to connect all of my power onto one main grid. This, however, is somehow not hooked up, so I'll break everything by doing that just in a moment. There we go. Now all the power is being distributed, but it's going to shut down in, in just a few seconds. Uh, let's see. So, let's see if we can turn some of this on. So what happens is, when everything breaks, it all breaks, because it's all on one breaker. Uh, but what that means is you know when your power is out, so it's kind of convenient. But it's a, it, my factory right now is a huge mess. I would, too. Uh, hopefully it does the rollerblading for me. Alright, so here's what I need to do. I need to go here and get as much uh, biomass as I can. And I don't have that much, unfortunately. Uh, I have some. Right? And I need to then go use my chainsaw and just get a ton of leaf and, and stuff like that to start making more energy. So we'll do that. So I'm going to take my chainsaw. And we're just going to go off and chop down trees and just be absolutely ridiculous for the environment. What's cool about this game is... Uh, you can get around pretty easily. The chainsaw makes short work of uh, gathering leaves for fuel. So you get a bunch of wood and leaves that you can turn into uh, biomass that you can burn. And it's great. So I'm going to chop all this stuff down. And just kind of carry this back to the base. Hey, hey, Yeeter, what is up, my friend? How you doing? Oh, just just chainsawing. Just trying to get my power situation squared away. I, I'm i trying to set up coal power, but... Um, I think before that happens, I'm going to have to really... Mm, I can't chop that down. Just have a lot of biomass set up. Chop, chop, chop. So how many of you guys have played this game? It seems like Kylug said he played it. So, uh, Kylug, I'm sorry, I missed your question. This game is uh, preceding a Factorio playthrough. I definitely want to play Factorio, but I've never played it. I'd never played either Satisfactory or Factorio, and so I just kind of um, got this one on a humble thing, like a humble monthly, I think. And so, I know people had talked about it being great. And honestly, this game is like an unreasonable amount of fun. You've played it too, Alex? Awesome, my friend. It, it just, like, sneaks up on you how much fun automating all this labor is and building a sprawling factory and conveyor belts. You wouldn't... I mean, like, that doesn't seem like fun. Uh, but... It... It really, it really is. You know what? I'm going to say, Kylug, it might be. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Dyson Sphere. I know Dylan was playing a bunch of Dyson Sphere, and that seems like a really good one, too. I'm excited about that. This game starts really small. So, like, you might see my base and think, oh, it's huge. First of all, I'm still in the early game. I'm only on, like, stage one of the overall progress, I think. Uh, but you start with, like, next to nothing, and... It just keeps building and building over time.
Okay. Uh, is that a bad guy? Are you bad? No, you're cool. All right. Look at this bird. What's up, bird? All right. I'm going to run back now and start making fuel. So you can build these ramps and things with concrete. This is my coal right here, by the way. So this is all my coal that's coming in. Uh, you can see the... It, it's so funny, like the power lines that I build. This is my conveyor belt filled with coal. And then... Hey, Nick Man. Good evening, my friend. Gosh, I don't even know, Nick Man. This might go into outer space, uh, for all I know. And this is where the water has to hook up into my coal generator. So I, I've got coal coming in. I just have no water. So that's the next step. You can see that my conveyor belts over here, they ride up a little lift. Like these screws go up a lift. Uh, and then they get carried along here into these storage containers. All right, so now, for example, I need to make uh, biomass. So this is where I put all of my leaves. So if I control click all the leaves, they go in and then immediately um, they will go over here and start working, but they need power. So we're going to get that for them in one moment. Also, uh, this is where I put the wood to turn into biomass. So we'll put all the wood in there and great. Now we need to get some power going. Do do do. Alright, so I'm gonna split some of these stacks up. No, 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 like, not like that. Sorry. Uh, right click, that's what it does. I keep messing that up. I'm gonna give everything 50. Ooh, I'll tell you, um, Kylug. So, watch this. Eventually, you can build these things called storage containers. And then storage containers have an input over here and one output. And then you can hook up conveyor belts to the output. And so, like, I put leaves, only leaves, in this storage container. And then they come out onto the conveyor belt. And then they go into the constructor, which turns them into biomass. Well, Crispy, um, have you played this one? If you have tips, I would welcome them, but, uh, like, people have been very good about giving me nudges, and I really appreciate that. Not spoilers, but just, like, little, you know, nudges. Let's see if I can get this going. I'm just gonna try to put fuel in everything. Do you have fuel? You don't. Here, take some fuel. Alright. So you can see that this is... Um, oh, I got you, Crispy. Of course, that's right. I'm sorry, I forgot that. Um, but you have, like, five TVs and six game systems. Here we go. Almost ready. What's this? Is this a biomass burner? Terrific. Okay, let me get you some fuel. So you see how complicated my power system is. I actually tried to relocate it, put all of my burners together. This is, like, my central power pole station and even so, it's very tedious to manage all this. Hopefully, what ends up happening... And now you can see my entire factory is back online. Let me show you something fun. I'm going to build a... Uh, lookout tower. Right here. I uh, put the chainsaw away. Okay, and we built uh, just a lookout tower really fast. And I'm going to climb up this thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so here's an overhead view of my factory. So this is where the caterium is being turned into wire. Here's all my screws coming in. You can see, actually, let, let me look at the binoculars. So you can see this is an entire facility that's just pulling up iron out of the ground and turning it into screws because you need so many screws that that's all that entire operation is doing. Yes, exactly, Kylug. So the dream is what Kylug is talking about is to fully automate power by getting the coal. There's my pipeline that I'm trying to build in over there. Um, here is my Caterium coming in from super far away. 
Now, over here, I also have resources that are being mined. Uh, and this, they're getting turned into these bars. So I'm making, like, iron bars that come in. And then this is copper ore that's coming in from this extractor right over here. So down here below, I have some factories making some more advanced parts. This is all copper wire that we're making. And uh, there's regular wire and screws and plates being made and all put into these storage containers over here. Yeah, there's some untapped limestone, but let me show you. Let me see if I can actually show you my limestone uh, facility. Where are you? Yeah, you can see it right below, actually. There's cement. So the, my, my main cement is coming in over here. So I, Or my concrete, rather. So I'm turning all of my limestone over there into concrete. And then, eventually, there should be some concrete coming in. Yep, way back there. You can see it over here. This is all concrete that's coming in. It just got delayed because the power got turned off. All right. So uh, now that everything is back on and I'm making uh, some biomass for myself, you can see down below um, that's what's called a merger. So the, the biomass from the wood is getting made into the really nice biofuel and it goes into the merger and then you can see it's like caterium biofuel biofuel and then concrete and everything is going out into this storage container here i'm going to jump out and break my legs horribly not too bad actually we can eat and just fill our health back up and let's see this storage container is filling up i'm going to sort myself what do i need i need pipe and i need wire so i'm going to take out all of the uh caterium that's here and go back to this facility. This is making my uh, quick wire. And so I'm gonna dump in all of my bars and they should come out and start getting turned into quick wire. So there we go. Those ingots are getting turned into quick wire right now. All right, fantastic. So I need to check on my copper plating so that I can make more um, pipe. Let's see how that's going. What's this? Here we go. I have 152 copper sheets, which is pretty good. But basically what's going on is I have no more copper sheets. And I definitely need some more. And what was going on down here? This was... Oh, this is an assembler that was just putting stuff into the... Yeah, so it ran out of something. What did you run out of? Oh, you ran out of screws, and you ran out of uh, bars, didn't you? Here, take everything that you might need. There you go. So that's making us some rotors. Okay. <laughs> it's very, very hilarious trying to keep track of all this, by the way. All right, so this is actually full. So I'm going to take out some stuff here. Uh, how's my own wire and cable situation? I need some cable. I'm running low. Okay, great. Now, in the meantime, let me see what it would take to turn this back on. So, you need what? Copper? What are you doing? You're making... Yeah, you're making... I need to feed in raw copper for that to get my uh, plating fully automated. So this is how this game kind of works. You uh, you find little problems with your operation. You try to fix it up. So I'm going to build a pipeline. I'm going to go back to building this. And we're going to run over here. I also want to build modular frames so that I can build the new quick moving things from the Caterium. A lot of people on the YouTube comments have been really ex telling me that I want the Caterium research for quality of life. And so I'm going for it. Hey, Tantalus, what's up, my friend? Have I watched a video from Let's Game It Out with a guy that... with the man cannon that destroys everything? No, I haven't. Is it, a, like, a, a real can, Tantalus, that somebody's using in reality, or is it in this game? Hmm. 
Okay. Insatisfactory? That's hilarious. No, I haven't seen it, Tantalus. How much have you played this game, my friend? By the way, good evening. Good to see you. All right. Let's see if I can uh, get this going. I really, really want to try to get this over to my coal. But I have to avoid... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's poison <laughs> in the air, and I don't want to get hit by it. Nah, Tantalus, sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, it can be too close to home. Uh-oh, this pipe not, might not work. I don't know, doing piping might be a little bit less convenient uh, than I want it to be, so I might not be able to bend this pipe the right way. We'll see how it goes. Alright, no, it's going to work. So it, it claims that it's working, but I don't know how I can check to see whether or not it's actually getting water. Okay, so let's see. Uh, is water happening? It, I, it, it's interesting, um, Kylug. It just curves. The pipe just curves. But I've heard this, and I don't know how true this is. Um, I think this um, this thing is hurting me. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'm sorry. I think this is an indicator. Um, yeah, it might take time for the water to flow indeed. But I think this is also an, an external indicator of the pressure, the water pressure. I could be wrong about that. I'm not 100% sure, but I might not be getting any water pressure. We're going to have to see what happens here. When this, you see this light up here, it's red. That means no power. When it turns green, that means this thing is on. Yeah, we got to check the source for sure, but it's so far away. I think I'm going to actually start researching how to make those roller blades that we were talking about. Okay, so I need modular frames. Modular frames are something that I haven't really built that many of. Uh, what are you building right now? You're building uh, iron plates. What if we wanted to change you to modular frames? It would take uh, reinforced iron plates and iron rods. Oof. Okay. That's not easy. All right. Um, why don't we keep you on this? And what's the other recipe for this that I have? 18 iron plates and 50 screws versus 6 iron plates and 12 screws. Oh, I see. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, let's try our new recipe, see how that works. But anyway, I need a bunch of plates and screws for this to work. It's just not going to work by itself. So we need to give it some screws. Here you go. And it needs plates. So I got to go find plates. Yeah, exactly, Kylug. And look at this. You can build this thing right here called a pipeline pump, which can be attached to a pipeline to apply head lift uh, for 20 meters and it allows fluids to be transported 20 meters upward. So maybe there's some places on my pipe where it like is going up and it needs head lift in order to work. Hey, hey, Feeple, good evening. Yes, Feeple, it won the uh, members poll, my friend. All right, so in that case, we're gonna need to <laughs> go back here and maybe build an entire other structure. Yeah, gravity is going to be an issue. You should see, um, I think the J key does it. Is that what it does, J? Somebody was telling me there's a key that you can bring up a calculator with. I mean, like, this is how complicated this, this game can get. There's equations and things, I know. Uh, let's see, this is not the right thing. Where is my, here we go. Is there any plates in here that I can borrow? There's some. I can take all these plates. Do you have any plates? Hello. Wonderful to see you. Are you getting filled up? Yeah, okay. I'm going to um, just open this and dump all these in here, all this wire. And I'll take out two for myself and then just call it a day. Okay. So I need to build modular frame. So a modular frame is going to require a, a uh, some serious business. So I'm going to build it over here. There you go, Crispy. You're an engineer. You know what you're doing. <laughs> 